Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. This video is just going to be an update video on my make a game for free challenge. So since last episode I did a few things. Uh, in the last episode I told you how to make start menus. So this would be the start menu that I showed you last time. Uh, what I did now is if you click play, you can now click P. I mean press P and now you get the pause menu up here which is cool you can go back to main menu and then press play again or you can go to options which I haven't configured yet yet but I'm gonna do that once I get some graphics in here you can also resume and just resumes the game also I'm gonna show you now if I can die so if you die now you get a, uh, get a, a death screen and again it has a restart button which just restarts the game and it has a main menu button which returns you to main menu. Also one thing I did with uh, enemies is that now if you just walk to them they're not gonna they're not gonna attack instantly before uh, if you would just get close to them they would damage you instantly and it made it impossible to get um, to get through level uh, through w wave 3 or more I created a I enumerator in the enemy script and now it's just um, it just do it does the same thing as it did before but now it just does it um, not only after the first hit but also does it before the first hit it's pretty simple if you want me to make a video on that just leave a comment and also another thing uh, is that you, you probably noticed this, but I made a wave system. So how the, how it works? Uh, if I start the game, wave starts in five seconds. So once five seconds pass, it starts wave one and spawns two enemies. If I kill them, it's again countdowns from five to zero, and then starts at wave two. And this time it spawns, spawns them quicker with uh, one more enemy. If I kill these guys, now it's going to start wave 3 and there's going to be 4 enemies. And it's going to spawn them even quicker. And also, also as you can see they spawn at random locations. But basically what I'm doing is I have a public enum for wave states. And there is a state for spawning, spawning enemies, for counting down, uh, that's when it counts down from 5 to 0, and waiting. I have 4 spawn points, and then I just uh, drag them from the scene into here. And then I have a method for spawning enemies, and then before it spawns them, it just picks a random spawn point from 0 to 4 and then it spawns the enemy at that location so if the countdown reaches 0 or less then it starts uh, the spawning state of the wave and then it starts a coroutine spawn wave and then if we go to spawn wave here uh, to here and it, in here we upgrade the wave but every time we start a new wave we add one more enemy here and we start we add um, we increase the rate of spawning here and then once it's done it just goes to waiting again and then when once that is done it just starts the whole thing over again and also um, every second I'm checking if there are enemy any enemies alive uh, if they're not alive then wave wave is completed and there's the function for wave is completed it just increases the wave I know this is kind of complicated but I just wanted to basically show you how it works uh, but if you want me to make a video on this also leave a comment down below I'll try to make the video for this and I'll try to explain it as good as I can. And those are the, all the things that I did uh, from last time. For next episode, I hope I can get into some graphics 
Uh, that's the best part of, uh, of making a game, actually, at least for me. But if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see any specific video. And definitely subscribe. Really helps me out. Keeps me going. And um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.